So early retirement has actually improved our health so much that I actually think we'll be avoiding higher healthcare costs down the line that may actually eat into our retirement funds. And then early retirement has also allowed us to achieve a state of intuitive living, which has been absolutely awesome. Financially, the conventional wisdom is that early retirement could potentially be disastrous. But frankly, I think so far, two years into retirement, that our early retirement has been great for us financially. These, plus two or three more, are just some of the very strong reasons why I would advocate that anyone considering retirement should do so as early as possible. Let me explain why down below. Hey, I'm Jean, and for the past two years, I've been retired in Bali, Indonesia with my husband. Today, I wanted to discuss about all these reasons why I think retiring as early as you can is a brilliant idea. <laughs> So, health. Basically, don't wait till it's too late. <laughs> I think that when most people think about health and retirement planning, they just kind of hope and assume that they will be in good health when they enter retirement and then that they pray it remains status quo until the end. But I guess most of us pre-retirement might be involved in jobs that might be high stress with long hours at the desk and then naturally fitness just isn't what ideally it should be. So all my life I've been struggling with skin rashes and allergies and these issues tend to pop up every time my immunity gets low because I'm stressed, I'm tired, I'm taxed. But truly in the two years since we have been retired, the manifestation of all these problems have just gone down so much. In retirement mode, <laughs> I'm happily keeping very fit, doing all the things that I love like surfing, walking the dog with the hubby, eating better. Overall, probably further down the line, maybe I might be avoiding higher healthcare costs. Having this health is actually so much wealth. It allows you to live life to the fullest because frankly, all the stuff that you want to do in your enjoyment of life probably involves a lot of health. You want to travel, you want to scale that mountain at sunrise to see that incredible view, you need your health. Even just to enjoy good food if you, like us, you like to eat, you need your health. I mean, I know so many people who have dietary restrictions because of high cholesterol or diabetes. Improving health is actually one of the biggest and strongest reasons why you should retire early. So the second big reason for wanting to retire ASAP is actually intuitive living. Basically, intuitive living is really connecting with yourself and listening to your gut instincts and your feelings as to stuff like eating and rest and meditation, relationships, even your spending habits, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know how it is for you guys, but I was generally living my life governed by a lot of shirts, right? I mean, I should be at the office by 9am so that I won't uh, piss off the bosses. <laughs> I should stay in the office, stay late and postpone my workout, postpone dinner so I can meet the deadline set by my clients. I should carry branded handbags and of course I should be a corporate lawyer. I mean, why would I want to be anything else, <laughs> right? <laughs> Finally, in retirement, we are free from the demands of the pursuit of money to listen to ourselves, to truly tune in and understand what is the optimum course in life you can chart. You really want to wake up every day without an alarm clock, naturally, because you've had enough sleep. You want to eat only enough and not too much. <laughs> I mean, you want to make better choices food-wise. Intuitive exercise, you know, you're doing what really only appeals to you. Maybe you don't like sweating in the afternoons. So then, you know, get a gym membership or play indoor record sports, whatever works for you. I only wish that more people have the opportunity to experience living life this way, intuitively, away from the entanglements and distractions from regular running the hamster wheel life. The third reason why you might want to retire as soon as possibly is just that the earlier you retire, the more time you gain in life. I mean, if you think about it, most of us live life as though 
we are invincible as if life itself will never run out. And therefore, we do things like squander our time or sell it away too cheaply in exchange for material things. We each only have so long to live, right? And the money you make in your lifetime, you can't bring that with you when you go. <laughs> so, well, might as well you be the one to spend it when you can, right? Society feeds us like so many different narratives about success and what it should look like. But actually, I think success is really not about the achievements per se, but it's just really a feeling. And I like to think that at the end of our lives, when we're there in our last dying moments, what we'll be thinking about probably wouldn't be like stuff like, oh, I closed that $3 billion deal. <laughs> I think it would more be along the lines of like, yes, I had good friends and I loved my family. I had a good life, you know. I ate good food, I laughed lots, I took care of my kids and my dog, stuff like that. So don't squander the time that we each have. Maybe you have personal goals that you really want to achieve, stuff like learning Spanish or scaling the Great Wall of China or just watching your kids grow up. There's just a million places that are better to spend your time at than at a job which you don't really particularly care for and which maybe you're just doing just because that's what everyone else is. Before we move on, a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning. If 2023 is the year you promised yourself you're going to finally explore new career or side hustle options or work on personal growth, then Skillshare is the perfect place to start. For me, one of the ways we have fun in our retirement is making YouTube videos. When we first started, Skillshare was instrumental in teaching us so many of the basics like videography, storytelling and more. Till today, one of the best classes I ever sat through online anywhere is still the class by Sorel Amori. YouTube success, build an authentic channel that's worth the follow. So her advice about finding my niche, valuing authenticity over beauty, Creating meaningful messages and providing value to the audience really changed our perspectives on what we were creating back then. For the better, of course. <laughs> We've gone from like 40 subs <laughs> to the 143,000 subs of today and from time to time, I still pull up Sorel's worksheet when I'm creating my videos just to check that I'm on track for making something good for our people, our audience. It's always super easy to take whatever you learn on Skillshare and apply it directly to your life pursuits, whatever those may be. I highly recommend checking out Skillshare and if you want to do that, you can use my link in the description below. The first 1,000 people will get one month of Skillshare absolutely free. You can try it out, learn something new, move a step closer to your 2023 goals. Reason number four. The earlier you start your retirement, the better you'll get at it. With every other change in life, we expect that we all need time to learn how to do it well. So things like becoming a parent for the first time, even if, like us, it's just a fur kid, or transitioning from being a student to being a working adult. And then there's the transition from being an actively working adult to retirement mode. It seems ridiculous and silly even at first. I mean, it's like saying, who doesn't know how to spend their free time, right? But if you actually truly observe things around you, retirement unfolds really differently for different people. We all know the people who have retired and in their retirement seem a little lost, lonely, left behind and uninspired. And then there's the other kind of retired people, right? The ones who go like, woohoo, I'm retired, I'm gonna grab life by the balls and max things out. A big part of that may actually be the point in life at which you retired. Whether at that point where you retire, you still have your zest, your zeal, your energy, your health, your fitness to help you max out the happiness potential of that free time and freedom in retirement. And then there's the thought that retirement is supposed to stretch out for a few good years at least, right? If not for a few decades. And doing that requires skills. 
you know, you need so many different skills to have a successful retirement. I think that's a topic for another day, but basically you need time to learn those skills, whether it's financial money management or social skills, you know, building relationships and stuff. But basically you need time to get all that down pat in order to have a successful retirement. So then the earlier you retire, the better it usually will probably turn out for you. So the last and possibly the most controversial point, I think that early retirement could possibly be great for you financially. And this is controversial because it's directly opposite to what a lot of the experts say, right? You retire too early, there's so much risk that you miscalculate your finances or that world events take an unexpected turn and then, you know, things go belly up and then you're destitute in your last years. But, I mean, underlying all that seems to be this assumption that in retirement we're all just going to be like one dead lazy log. And I think that these days, especially if you're an early retiree, that is just so not true. Maybe, like us with YouTube in our retirement, in your own retirement, maybe you'll learn new skills, pick up new side hustles, and stay busy doing something that you're doing for the love of it, for the fun, not for the money. But having the money come in as a result of your side hustle is a nice bonus. And you know what? It becomes an additional buffer for your later years. So retiring early also allows you to take advantage of things like geo arbitrage, right? Moving overseas to improve your financial situation. And yeah, so like us, I'm from Singapore, but I'm now retired here in Bali, Indonesia. We're not just here because life is more affordable, but the fact is that our retirement sums, in fact, our whole entire retirement <laughs> is only possible because living here is so much more affordable as compared to back home. You know, this wouldn't be possible at all if we retired late and ended up having health concerns, right? Mobility issues, for example. Retiring early and then using the time to keep up with current affairs, learning hedging strategies to minimize risk, learning how to diversify our investment portfolio. I feel that the time in our retirement has been well spent to actually make us more resilient. And the fact that we retired so early also means that if anything goes belly up, time and youth are on our side. If our financial planning for retirement had just sucked <laughs> or, you know, things unexpectedly go belly up, we're prepared, you know, if we have to U-turn and go back to work or maybe start another business, it's not a big deal. And then we'll go off, marshal the resources that we lack and then we'll come back again. And second time around, third time around, we'll definitely be better each time at doing this. So in terms of confidence and the feeling of resilience that we will be able to make this last all the way, I think that starting early, doing it early, diving into it, and understanding the parameters, the potential, the boundaries of what we face in retirement actually really, really helps. Well guys, so these are the few takeaways from our last two years living in retirement here in Bali. And uh, I mean, if you have any thoughts or objections <laughs> or contributions to the points that I've made in this video, I'd love to hear them. Let's start a little discussion in the comments below. You guys have a good week ahead wherever you are and let's chat again next Saturday. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Have a good week ahead.